Hello everyone, what I want to do with this video is show you how to make um, your own Larry the Loudmouth um, using some pencils, some markers, and a few things to trace. So since <coughs> Larry the Loudmouth is a um, square shape, you'll need one big square for the body, then a smaller square for the mouth, looks like I did it that way, and then you'll want something for um, the eyes. So I traced this little glass here, the bottom of it, to make my eyes. And then <clears throat> I also made a speech bubble, and I actually used a dried out sponge for that. So you can um, look around with um, a parent or a sibling and try to find some of those things that you can get to trace so you can make your Larry the Loudmouth. So what I want to do is show you some of the steps to do that. So the first couple steps in pencil. So step number one, what you're going to want to do is trace the biggest square you have. Make sure whenever you're tracing, you're holding it in place so it doesn't move. After you trace all the way around it, then you'll take the smaller square or a rectangle would work and you will trace that. This is going to be your mouth. So after you get this far, what I would do is, <clears throat> before I add any details to the mouth, is I would go ahead and add the eyes and maybe, right, maybe your Larry the Loudmouth only has one eye, maybe he has two like I had mine. I think I'm going to do mine with just one this time. So hold it, and I know it's kind of hard to see, but hold it, trace it all the way around. Okay, then I would go back in and add those details. So I can add my teeth, and maybe this guy only has some square teeth. <clears throat> and I'll make my tongue. And then I'll add my square teeth, and it's completely up to you, right? You'll get a little bit of practice uh, making yours, and then you can do a much larger version of this. So after you get this far where you have your details, like something like this, that's when you're going to want to go in with um, markers and color it in. A black marker would look best. It's going to help it stand out, but then the other colors that you choose are up to you. Good luck. I know you're going to make um, some awesome um, art.